Hello and welcome back to another reaction packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And tonight, brothers and sisters, we're having one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. Yeah. When I couldn't go out last week, I got an online delivery from Asda. Because uh, the Tesco online delivery was about four days, and this I could get this the morning after, so that's why I got the Asda. And the cheap equivalent of Tesco pizza I get for the kids in, Aldi, uh, in Asda are these. The Asda deep pan three cheese pizzas, and they were 88 pence. <laughs> Bragging! Oh, the, the Tesco ones I buy for kids are 67 pence, so these are a little bit expensive. But unfortunately, Connor does not like them. So, Keeman does. He'll eat any old trash Keeman. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, so I thought we'd get it reviewed and see how shit it is. If Connor doesn't like it, he's, he, he said he doesn't like the cheese on it, and it says three cheese pizza. So it, there's mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and red, che red cheddar melting mix on it. So it, I'm guessing it's the Monterey Jack or the mozzarella don't like. Uh, so yeah, it's fucking high, it's, like, it's fucking high in saturates. Good job, I'm still taking my statins. Uh, I think I'll, I think I'll let Kieran demolish the rest of this. Uh, milk, wait, milk, milk, wait, wait. Yeah, as you expected. Uh, deep pan pizza base topped with seasoned tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, red cheddar cheese, and Monterey Jack cheese. And then it cooks in 20 minutes on 180 degrees if your oven is fan assisted, which mine is. Not, not like trying to posture it, it's just, just fan assisted. I think most fans are fan assisted now, aren't they? Mine's fanny assisted because I've turned it on dickhead. So, yeah. Oh, it's vegetarian. At least it's not fucking vegan. So let's get out of the box and have a good shuffle at it. There it is. <laughs> Do you know what? It, the the base is fucking massive. It's gonna be. It's gonna be stodging it. I think that's one of the reasons why Connor don't like it as well because it's all. It just seems to be all base. And uh, when I've always done in pizzas before, I bought pizza. I've always got the thin, crispy ones. Probably because it's my preference, and now he's got used to thin and crispy base pizzas. It's getting the fucking, it's getting this wrapper off it without losing all cheese on top. You know what I mean? Even though it's frozen, my knife needs sharpening. The salmon I need sharpening, fucking pronto. Uh, yeah, the cheese it always tends to fall off. Now, if you ask me for a cheap eighty-eight pence pizza. There's, there's quite a lot of cheese on there, isn't there? I don't want to tip it so you, it all falls off. You can see the tomato base there, underneath all that cheese. Yeah. What's not to like about all that cheese? Now, if you wanted to make one of these even better, or a cheap pizza even better, you just put more fucking cheese on it, don't you? But not for a review, we can't do that. Because then we're not uh, reviewing the original product. Uh, trusty pizza tray. Oh, not the camera. Uh, the oven is not quite preheated, but it will be in a minute. And uh, on that note, we'll see you in 20. So that's been approximately 20 minutes. Don't actually know because I didn't time it. And that is how it's come out. Now, it's not raw on the top. Trust me, it's not all the cheese is melted. But I took it out because the edges were starting to look like they're going to go a bit too far. But greasy. Back in, it's greasy. <laughs> Honestly, God, it's greasy as hell. Oh, by the way, the blobby you were in. Blobby! Let's just get the, uh, the pizza cut up and uh, there's no crisp to the base whatsoever. You listen, listen. Shh. No crunch until you get to the end, is there? Right. I'll just cut that piece in half there because I'm only having a quart. I'm only having a small sliver of that because, obviously, uh, I'm not a big massive fan of this for my tea. 
and also it's not very good for me. But uh, we will slide up here in a very, very few seconds and slide it down my gizzard. Well, there it is, brothers and sisters. My three cheese deep pan pizza from Asda that was 88 pence. And it's very, very cheesy. It's very, very greasy. And it's very, very fucking hot. But, uh, yeah, base. Soggy base. And it is mainly base. Apart from it looks like it's got loads of topping, but it fucking hasn't. Sorry. Put grease on my fingers. It tastes like to me. Right before we go any further, there's nothing wrong with it. it tastes like a cheap pizza. It tastes like 88 pence worth of a pizza, which do you know what? It'll fill a hole and make a turd, won't it? But the first thing that strikes me with that pizza is when I used to go to a secondary school. It's not; they don't exist anymore. It's been knocked down. It's in now, now houses. Uh, Count Hill, and it used to be in Moorside in Oldham, off uh, Council Road. Look it up, it'd be there. Before it got knocked down, it was in special measures. You know, basically they were all fucking. They, were, they, were fucking, they weren't teaching any con. And but when I was there, they had the can. They had this canteen, and they used to do pizzas and flapjacks, and it tastes just like the pizza. That I remember from the canteen. So, if one thing is, is taking me back, back it on. 30, 32 years, 33 years ish. How the fuck can I remember that 33 years ago? Yeah, half, half the time. I can't remember a couple of days ago what I paid for something. Yeah, definitely that. So, for me, Taste wise, nostalgia absolutely superb. Said that I fucking hate school. I hate it going. Apart from football, I love, I love football. I love running. Weirdo. I used to run with a smile on my face. Weirdo. I fucking don't know. But mate, I struggle running a bath nowadays. You know what? Eight straight pens. You make sure you cook it right and get that crispiness on the edges. That's fucking banging. Yeah. Bit greasy. Not very good for me. But the edges are crispy. The way the cheese is burnt is superb. When it isn't burnt, it's still got that peak that just takes me back. Take me back 30 odd fucking years that pizza. I'd eat a full one of myself. Tell you now. My God. I've got to give Keen this tea. Do you know what? Surprised is understatement because I was so ready to slag it right off, right? And chastise it and say, don't buy that shit, don't buy that mug. But I, I enjoyed it. I, I can't say I don't know why. That is one of the tastiest cheap pizzas I've actually tested in a long, long time. It even kicks the ass of a lot of the, the expensive pizzas I've got when they've been reduced. So yeah, I don't know much I can say about that, but you know what? French egg pizza, you, you know what I mean? You might like it, you might not. It just might my taste buds after having COVID are fucking dead. I might have that in a few months ago. What the fuck did I eat? How the fuck did I eat that? Anyway, I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. Hey, I'm becoming a member of hashtag 2CTB, where I fucking love you.